Hey guys, welcome to Hops Brews. We got a very special episode for you today. We're going to be doing Wandering Angus's Anthem Watermelon Goes Inspired Cider. So like I said, we're going to be reviewing Wandering Angus's Cidery Anthem Watermelon. This is a goes inspired cider. So this cider comes in at a 4.6 ABV, a unavailable IBU. It gets an average rating on an untapped of 3.51. The description on this cider states a goes inspired watermelon cider. Anthem cider back sweetened with fresh watermelon with Jacobson sea salt and coriander. Unfiltered. Wandering Angus Cider Works is located in Salem, Oregon. All right, so let's give this cider a try. Right away, it has a very unfiltered look to it, but still very pleasant, highly carbonated. It definitely has an apple aroma to it. Not that farm fresh sulfuric acid aroma. No, this is actually pretty pleasant smelling. Uh, you actually do get a lot of watermelon, but it's not this overly candied watermelon. And you taste apple, which to me, apple and watermelon don't really go hand in hand. Look, there's a little bit of salt right there. That's interesting. That's very interesting. It's not the greatest cider in the world, but it's interesting. I, I could drink this. This is pretty good. I could have a six pack of this so far. So we're halfway through this cider, and so far I'm impressed. I'm actually even more impressed now than I was first tasting it. Uh, the flavors are still extremely subtle, but just enough to know they're there. And I love this can. Uh, I really love all the detail, the descriptions that they put into this can. They talk about it being very fresh pressed apples, where the apples came from. They talk about how every batch can be different. I have done cider myself, so that is completely true. They even talk about, look at the bottom of the can to tell you what number and what batch. That's fantastic. They even tell you the nutrition facts. I don't know too many cideries or breweries that give you the nutrition facts on the beer. Then it gives you the ingredients. It says where the apples came from, where the watermelons came from. It's fantastic. It even says gluten free on it. I know a lot of cideries sit there and say they're gluten free, but there's no labeling on there that states that it's fantastic. Flavor wise, um, I taste subtle watermelon and it just drops away right away where it doesn't linger too hard in my mouth. Like a lot of ciders that I've made or drank before usually do, this leaves a very clean flavor in my mouth with almost a kiss of watermelon breath, which I like watermelon, some people don't. Um, and it doesn't leave me craving to drink more, but in that sense it makes me want to drink more of it because I want to keep that pleasant flavor in my mouth. So, we are coming up at the end of this cider review. This watermelon goes inspired, unfiltered, semi-dry cider. Now, I do taste a little bit of the semi-dryness, so I give it props for that. But this is still a great cider, and I love, again, the fact that they state every batch is slightly different and with a good cidery they will admit that and that is true because 
apples vary season to season and whether they can get their hand on the apples or not from the same spot it's not a guarantee I think this is a mark of a good cidery they're not adding a lot of adjuncts to it to make it taste consistent they are trying their hardest to make it consistent but it doesn't always happen so that's fantastic uh, a downside I did notice with this glass what I like about this glass is as it lowers it helps you bring out the aromas this cider didn't start to smell all that great. In fact, it did start to get some of that funky, uh, just bad cider flavor. You, you know what I'm talking about. But if you can get past that, or don't stir up your cider, something like that, or, or don't use a fancy glass, maybe just drink it out of the can or a regular pint glass, you should be fine because the flavor is still great. Um, really else complain unless you don't like ciders it's a great light thing probably not the best for fall or winter this is a very summer style cider uh, low ABV in the 4% so I could drink a couple of these still feel great what I do love about ciders is that I'm not as bloated as I am when I drink a beer with all the wheat and extra carbonation and grain or whatever they throw into their beer. Cider, I know with a good cider, again, 100% apple juice. Maybe a little watermelon or something else. Overall, if you find yourself in Salem, Oregon, check these guys out. They got some really good traditional stuff and some pretty funky stuff too. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, on tap, Twitter, Facebook, all the big social media stuff. The links for those will be in the descriptions below. Check out some of the other videos I do. They'll be here, probably be around here somewhere. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see me do other stuff, hit me in the comments below.